BBC's dance competition Strictly Come Dancing is well and truly underway as one couple will be kicked off this show this weekend, as the countdown to crown the 2022 champion begins. Returning to their chairs, judges Craig Revel Horwood, Motsi Mobuse, Shirley Ballas and Anton Dubeko have their eagle eyes on the new contestants, scrutinizing their every move. Motsi has recently opened up about her love for the show but feels the best dancer has never won the show and it has always come down to the connection with the audience. Ahead of the show's launch last week, Motsi was promoting her latest autobiography which touched on her journey through life and dance. She has previously opened up about her love for dance and how surprised she was when she received the call from Strictly producers to join the show. Since then, she has become a household name and a huge favorite of the viewers who watch at home. Motsi opened up about the contestants who come on the show every year and work so hard, despite some never setting foot on a dance floor before. However, she felt the best dancer has never won, and it is purely down to the couple's engagement with the viewers. For me on Strictly the most important thing is how I make people feel. These are amateurs who have never danced like this before, standing in front of an audience, and they're very vulnerable. People can tear you apart on social media and things can become very intense on Twitter during the Strictly Come Dancing season. So it's great to be there for the couples, to tell them what a good job they are doing. As a dancer who struggled her whole life to reach a goal, I know how hard it is for them. She told the Scotsman, I would say that the technically best dancer has never won the show. The person that has won is the person that has moved and touched the people, connected with them, and made them feel good. If someone comes with a beautiful straight knee and still leaves the viewers cold, it means nothing. For me dancing is about connecting, with people, with your emotions, sharing things with somebody else, and that is something really special. Despite loving her job and being able to get glamorous every Saturday and Sunday evening, Motsi also spoke about the darker side of the publicity for all who take part. Amanda Owen admits split from Clive has been release of pressure she explained, you need to have a tough skin because you can never defend yourself enough really. The people never stop, so you need to take care of dealing with yourself and how you can protect yourself. Everyone should remember it doesn't matter how shiny everything gets to be, there are humans behind the glitter ball. The contestants for this season have already stunned the judges and the viewers at home with their showmanship and eagerness to learn the craft. One contestant especially, Will Meller, left the judges on their feet during his week one dance and was even compared to 2019 winner, Calvin Fletcher. It isn't just the judges who were impressed with Willa's bookmakers Corals have projected that the Coronation Street star is now 7 fourths favorite to win the competition. Will Meller looked a natural on the dance floor on his Strictly debut, and ever since that opening performance, he has been well back to lift the glitter ball trophy, said Corals' John Hill. Country file presenter Helen Skelton follows closely behind at seven halves, with singer Fleuriste hot on her tails with five one odds. Strictly Come Dancing returns tonight from 6.30pm on BBC One.